on one of the videos i got recommended to try cherish os and so i did it's been more than two weeks and this rom has blown me off totally and i think you guys should also try so this is my review of cherish os and without wasting any time let's start the video if you enjoy press that like and click on subscribe to become the part of the family now let's go if you have already watched my videos that i've made so many of them about rom reviews you would know that these roms are not coming with any bloatwares at all which is why it's super nice to have a custom rom because you don't get any application that's gonna spam you or like fool you up with notifications that you don't want however there is one really really interesting application that comes inbuilt which i'm gonna talk at the very end about the bugs and the special features that you should watch because that's gonna blow your minds believe me let's talk about the animation smoothness now so if you already installed this rom or used this rom in the past you would know that in this cherish os you have animations on every small option be it be the wi-fi be it be bluetooth and all these small options that you see are filled with animations and they really make the user experience seem very nice then animations of closing and opening an application is also super smooth never really felt any frame drop at all so literally everything that you do you will see an animation happening which is enhancing the user experience of a person and it's super nice to have those things like those small things really cherish the person in and out and so in terms of animation smoothness i'm gonna give it a five out of five now let's talk about the customization here cherish os has got you covered in every corner that you want the customization to be in fact cherish os also has some really cool customization options which you would not be finding on mostly any room these are just a normal settings until you go to cherish settings and this cherish settings is the place where you're actually going to cherish a custom room you know cherish cherish okay so first of all if you go to status bar you can see traffic indicators are present status bar battery indicator is also present which you can change the icon pretty normal pretty neat and pretty basic inside outside all that is here then if you go to clock settings here you can turn the clock on and off depending upon how you like it turn on the seconds and these are also pretty basic stuff so i'm just gonna skip it for now then if you go on quick settings here you have some customizable options like qs style colors that you can change header images qs photo text and all those things brightness slider should be on the top or the bottom you can customize that and qqs brightness slider one or two or zero whatever you want auto brightness icon should also be there on the top here it says auto turn it off and on you can do that then brightness control you can adjust the brightness by sliding across the status bar like this one and you can customize how many icons are appearing in a row and a corner then battery percentage should be appearing this menu is repeating by the way and battery estimate as to how much longer your battery will take you ahead then quick settings quick pull down from the right and then you can also disable when it's logged vibrate on touch and in themes there are some features that's going to change how you will look at cherish os some of the options you would not really find in other operating systems so like here if you see on this os you can check the accent color and gradient color and then you can make the gradient on every icon that you have like every slider that you have so if i click on this and change it to let's say green green come on okay and if i make this red and if i show you now it's going to take a second you can see that that gradient has been applied and now it looks like this so basically it's giving you the option to customize even the colors that you can choose according to your wish which i find super nice then all these things are here you can click on qs style disco make it colorful as you can see here now these styles are colorful you can turn it off if you don't really like it and similar things all over like yes it has a really really a lot of options since i selected the theme color as red these icons have also changed the color if you remember now if i click on buttons you can see the navigation bar is enabled you can disable them and it's gonna go off you can still use it but it's just gonna hide it and then click on this you can select whatever you want to here and you can also have 
these many customization options for the gesture navigation. You can also have the haptic feedback on back gesture, which I think was enabled but was not. Luckily, I found it and good for me. All right. Here, gestures, you have double tap to sleep on status bar, double tap to sleep on lock screen, swipe to screenshot. There you go. Long press to power, which I always mention is a lifesaver for me because this is one of the things that I really use every single, every single day. Hey, it also changed the icon of the fingerprint. Okay, that I didn't know. Automatically turn off the torch if you want that. If you don't, you can leave it. And then let's go to lock screen. Lock screen, you have ton of options here. Like, yeah, I just have to scroll to show how many options are here. Hide bottom shortcuts, you can do this in this one. Let me do this since I don't really use them. And then show on lock screen if you want the weather to be shown. Music visualization, fingerprint icon, you have so many of them. You can select whichever you want. And which color should it glow when you press the fingerprint icon. Last but not the least is the miscellaneous option where you can find some dashboard condition, dashboard suggestions, gaming mode which is delivered and is sometimes missing from some rooms. But on Cherish OS you have the gaming mode and you can customize again here whatever things is basically in Evolution X. Then you can also customize wake up on charge. What kind of screenshot do you want to take? Click to partial screenshot that's going to change the combination keys that you're going to press to partial screenshot instead of full then allow signature spoofing now this option is helpful in some situation this basically does is like it allows the apps to bypass security systems by pretending to be a different app like for example many banking applications stops working when you install magisk and for that you need to hide the magisk in order to the banking applications to work this is a very similar thing but this literally gives the permission to the applications to do that on on rooted phones and then here, customize the rounded corners. You can change these values and these rounded corners of the display will change. I like it to be the way that it is. Now, there are a few features which only Cherish OS has and some of them you would find in very rare rooms. One of them is called high brightness mode. Now, in this, if you, if you know, like this is the brightness slider. If I increase it, this is set to be the maximum one. But if you go outside and if you have problems viewing the display in this brightness you can click on high brightness mode and it's gonna increase the brightness even more than the maximum set it's very helpful for outdoor conditions and i've tried it it makes the display looks really normal outside because the brightness is now over the limited value it's gonna drain a lot of battery so only use it when needed second dc dimming feature is finally here last room it wasn't here but there's a bug here as you can see like turning on takes some time sometimes and also when you click on it it does not turn on sometimes so that's a buggy feature but it's still there fps counter is here turn it on and you will have the frames per second on top then you have caffeine this is one of the options that i really like as well so what caffeine is like basically when you turn it on your display is not going to turn off after a specific time and that time usually stays on the bottom but on this room you don't have the option to add the time like you cannot turn the display on only for five minutes or ten minutes if you turn it on it's permanently staying on until you turn it off or if you press the power button that's up to you but that thing is missing here as well then if you look here there are all these options as well like you can customize all of them like peak notification something that you don't really find but these icons when look at these icons are just circular and are really nice to look now let's talk about the camera here. So this room comes with a default camera. This camera is not a Google camera, nor is it an ANX. It's just a default camera, which you can use to click some photos and record some videos. Of course, now you cannot really change the lenses by going to ultra wide or like depth sensor or 48 megapixel. All those modes are not available in this one, but it does the job. And if you really want it, flash magisk, which is also supported in this room. And once you flash it, you can flash the NX camera, which works pretty fine, which I have already tested. Let's talk about the battery here. So on Cherish OS, the operations and everything that's going to happen is well optimized. Now, this is the room where I managed to achieve one of the greatest things that I haven't achieved in any other room, which is 
फाइव एंड हाफ आवर्स ऑफ स्क्रीन ऑन टाइम ऑन अ फुल फोर डे चार्ज सो बेसिकली आई चार्ज द डिवाइस टूडे एंड आफ्टर फोर डेज माई फोन कॉट डिस्चार्ज एंड बाय देन आई ऑलरेडी हैड फाइव एंड हाफ आवर्स ऑफ बैटरी लाइफ वेल आई एम नॉट सेंग दैट दिस इज नॉट बीटेबल दिस कैन बी इजली बीटेबल बट ऑन मोस्ट ऑफ द रोम्स इफ यू डू दैट द स्टैंड बाय इट सेल्फ ट्रेन सम बैटरी एंड देयर देन इट गेट्स एन इशू बट हियर इट्स सुपर ईजी बैटरी टेम्परेचर रिमेंस ऑलमोस्ट एज कॉन्स्टेंट एंड इज नॉट really too high or too low so that's also good and since you have the thermal profiling option it's already good enough because here you can even customize what kind of things that you are going to play and that battery is going to be used by that but basically all that it means like if you have a good battery health right now then it's going to give you easily 5 and a half to 6 hours of screen on time without any difficulties so let's talk about the gaming mode here i've already launched call of duty and let's see what the gaming performance of call of duty is on k20 pro over cherish os and here we have to be patient when it, until it loads and once it loads i'm going to resume the video all right so the game has launched and let me quickly show you the settings of graphics what i'm going to be playing it on so very high maximum and all these tweaks are on then the br mode graphic is realistic and i'm going to start the game on these settings right now you can see the frames per second on the left side of the screen i've enabled the fps counter here on the left side so you can keep an eye on that and i'm gonna keep an eye on the enemies let's go let's go the start is really good feels really really smooth so i don't really think you will have any issues with it one thing that's important to have while you play the game is the smoothness because if you don't have the smoothness you might lose the game and that's really important so far so good don't see any major increase in the temperature which is good because if there was then that's gonna create a processor throttling issues and then it would be bad got back up Okay, let me be brutally honest here. I had expectations from Cherish OS. It has literally blown me off. Gaming experience was super smooth. Literally never felt something like this. I never paid attention to FPS, but I guess you guys did. You, you might even see that there was no frame drops at all in the game. Now talking about the post gaming effects here. It is warm outside but the phone's temperature is not warm at all and that's really 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 surprising i guess if you're watching this video you should give this room a go for sure now let me talk about one of the things which i did not find in any of the rooms so basically cherish os has this application pre-installed called moto audio which is tuned by dolby now at first i was thinking this might be just another gimmick which they make to make people feel that their audio is better but this actually works i was watching a movie on amazon prime the other day and i literally know that the speakers of k20 pro are not loud but this made the speakers so loud that i was able to hear the movie outside in my balcony that was literally one of the only times that i saw my phone play the movie so loudly on full volume now let's talk about the bugs or missing features. Now as I've already told you about this room, this room has a lot of features in terms of customizations and those features even surpass Evolution X in some aspects. But in terms of bugs, I did find one bug which was kind of annoying for me. So on lock screen, if you're putting your fingerprint, the screen brightness goes low all of a sudden and sometimes the fingerprint is also not getting detected. I've tested it multiple times and now it seems to work fine but back then I was having a lot of issues which is the reason why I added a face unlock. Yes, face unlock is also available in this room. Let me show my face and there you go. Now second bug that I found was that in these styles whenever sometimes when you are clicking on it these click actions are not executed. So you have to press multiple times like maybe two times or three times and then probably they would work. It's a very small issue that I don't think someone's going to even have any issue with it. But is, is there just so you know, you don't think like, yeah, your phone's broken. No, 
it is a small bug in this cherish os that's been it let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of it and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to click that like button and click on subscribe to become the part of my family also i'm thinking of starting a telegram channel so let me know if you guys would be interested in it and if yes then what should be the name of it and maybe i can also choose some group moderators because handling everything would be too much for me so that's been it i'll be catching you guys next week with another really interesting video until then take care